In this video, we're going to talk about making three individual tree measurements that you need to make in the field for iTree Eco data collection. Uh, we'll talk about measuring total tree height, height to live top, and height to crown base. Typically, you make these three measurements at the same time, so it's uh, good to talk about them together here. First thing to think about when you're uh, setting up your project and, and trying to decide how you're going to measure things in the field is to pick a height measurement tool. Uh, the most common ones are generally the clinometer and the digital hypsometer. Uh, and you can see some of the pluses and minuses there. And there are also a number of other devices. And uh, if you search around a little, you'll surely find information on all of those. Um, but one thing that's really important to uh, make sure that you do when you uh, are setting up your project and training your uh, field crews that are going to be doing the data collection is to make sure that everybody's really comfortable in the correct operation of the equipment. There are things like with the digital hypsometers, sometimes you have to calibrate them. Uh, with the clinometers, there's two different scales in there, and if you use the wrong one, uh, you're going to end up with inaccurate measurements uh, all throughout your project. So uh, making sure that everybody knows how to use those and use those correctly uh, is a big part of making sure you get accurate height measurements. So measuring uh, the total height of the tree, uh, and you can find more information about all of these variables uh, by looking in the iTree Eco user's manual. But for total height, you're just talking about measuring from the highest point on the tree uh, to where the tree touches the ground, where the stem uh, touches the ground. And you're going to measure the total height regardless of whether that very highest branch is alive or dead. So you're measuring from ground line to the highest branch, uh, no matter whether or not it's alive or dead. And just a few uh, quick points about measuring that total tree height. Uh, a good rule of thumb is always to go at least as far away from the tree as the tree is tall. That'll give you a good vantage point to view the base and the top of the tree uh, to, again, ensure you're making accurate measurements. If you're on slope terrain, uh, it's generally best, if possible, to stand so that you're above the base of the tree and below the top. Um, again, that's just so you have a good vantage point to view the tree. Uh, if you're for some reason you're unable to see the base and the top, it's always a good idea to move around the tree, view it from multiple angles, make sure you're actually looking at the very top of the tree uh, when you measure total height. And you can also use other crew members to help with that. Uh, another good thing to do if you're worried about the accuracy of your measurements is to take a, a few measurements and average them. Most of the tools used for height measurement you're going to try and sight to the top of the tree, so it depends how steady you hold that piece of equipment when you take a measurement. Uh, so if you take a couple measurements and average them, you can get around some of that variability. Uh, and finally, if the tree has just sort of modest lean, you're going to be able to make a pretty accurate measurement if the tree is leaning to your left or right, but you want to avoid having the tree lead towards or away from you when you make those measurements. Uh, so that's total height from the ground line to the highest point on the tree. Height to live top. In the vast majority of cases, the height to the live top is going to be exactly the same as the total height. The only cases where it's going to differ is when the very top of the tree is dead. So in this case, our total height, we measure to the very top, whether it's alive or dead. But our height to live top, we're just measuring to the highest live foliage. And again, this is along the main stem is the height we're measuring here. Uh, so most of the time, you're not going to even need to make a measurement for height to live top. If it's green all the way to the top of the tree, uh, you're just going to measure, you're just going to record that total height again for your height to live top. So we've measured to the top of the tree. The next measurement is to the base of the crown. Uh, and we're looking for the base of the live crown. So essentially, you're measuring from the lowest point on the tree, where the tree intersects the ground, to the lowest live foliage. And one of the tricky things here to keep in mind is that you're not measuring from that lowest live foliage to the ground. Uh, in this case, that would be a, a relatively large measurement on the sloped ground here. You're measuring from the lowest live foliage to where the stem intersects the ground. So you have to imagine that horizontal line from the lowest live foliage back to the stem and measure this distance. Uh, most of the time, if there's something like epicormic branching going on, you can skip that and measure from the lowest live foliage on regular branches just because this doesn't account for a lot of the foliage that's on that tree. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in later videos. Um, so height to the crown base, you're just measuring from that lowest live leaf or branch. Um, 
to where the stem intersects the ground. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this would look to make these measurements out in the field. Hi, I'm Kevin and this is Claude. Today we're going to show you how to measure the height of a tree in an urban setting uh, using a hypsometer. Um, now the first thing we want to do is get to um, a spot that is further away from the tree than the tree is tall. So we're estimating um, a good spot for this particular tree would be about 50 feet away and we want to make sure we have a clear view of the tree uh, from, that, from that particular spot. So basically, basically you want to get about 50 feet away, as Kevin just explained, and then you want to line yourself up properly by using a sounder. You basically want to get the distance to the tree, the mid-level of the trunk, and you take it to the highest foliage at the top, to the top leaf, click, and you bring it to the lowest level of the trunk, and you have your distance. In this case, it's giving me 30 feet. You might want to try it multiple times to get more of an accurate reading. And when you're figure, trying to figure out the live top, you're basically going to do the same process. In this case, you want to look and see if there's any dead leaves. In this case, it's not. So it would be the same process and the height. The, the live top would be the same as the total height. And for the crown base, the process, you want to just basically aim it to get the distance to the trunk of the tree and the level. You want to take it to the lowest leaf level. Click. You want to bring it to the lowest level of the tree trunk. And it's giving me about 15 feet, which is a pretty good reading for the crown base. Just a few last tips and considerations to keep in mind when you make these measurements. Make sure you understand how to use your equipment, as I've already said. That's a really important point. Uh, incorrect equipment use is going to lead to lots and lots of big errors. Um, you want to make sure you stand an appropriate distance from the tree. You do have to be able to see the top and the base of the tree, um, or at least be able to point your equipment at where those are. So you need to have a good view of where the top and the base of the tree are. For total height, uh, one thing that I often encounter with people making these field measurements is they measure to the nearest side, because that's what they can see standing on the ground, rather than to the actual top of the tree. And that becomes more of a problem with real rounded canopies. So in some cases, you may actually have to look through the foliage of that canopy to see to the actual top. Um, don't be afraid to move around the tree to get to a better vantage point. Uh, and another thing that can sometimes speed things up and make for more accurate measurements is that sometimes you can measure that height to crown base uh, just by dropping a tape uh, if you can reach the crown base rather than using your equipment and trying to sight it from some distance. So you can make more accurate and quicker measurements sometimes that way for crown base at least. Uh, and finally, you'll come up against uh, some odd situations out in the field and you'll have to make some decisions about how exactly to make these measurements. Uh, and one thing I like to do is keep in mind what these measurements will actually be used for. So the uh, top height, the live top, and the crown base are actually going to be used to define the volume uh, of that tree's crown that has foliage in it. And those foliage estimates are later going to be used for um, coming up with leaf area and all the benefits or most of the benefits that are generated in eye tree. So you're really defining those limits of how high does my crown go and where's the bottom of my crown. So if you have a situation where you may have a sort of an odd scraggly branch that's way down low on the tree and not really connected to the rest of the crown, you may want to consider skipping that when you're defining that crown base. Otherwise, uh, you may end up with some unrealistic estimates or you'll have to make some adjustments with some later measurements. Um, so keeping in mind what these measurements are actually used for uh, is always a good thing to do. So that's how to measure total height, height to live top, and crown base.